Good morning, scientists. Happy Monday. This is our last Monday of September for an observational walkthrough in our gorgeous school garden. Hope you all had a beautiful weekend. I came into the garden today and I heard a lot of birds active. We have some clear skies, a light little breeze in the air. I wanted to show you some great things that are happening in the garden at the end of September. First, friends, I wanted to show you this big Jerusalem sage plant. I just noticed today how big it's getting. And remember, friends, this is the um, plant where a lot of scientists like to suck the yellow flowers. And I was thinking, I was looking at these leaves today, and I was feeling how soft they are. And it got me thinking. I also walked by another plant that looks similar to the Jerusalem sage those kind of spear-like leaves reminded me kind of of this plant. Similar-ish shape. Some leaves are a little bit more of, a, of an oval, but same texture. And this plant is a volunteer. I didn't plant it, it just came up. And it is so soft. Both of those plants are in the same mint family. And, um, they're soft, and this one is called lamb's ear because it's so soft like a lamb's ear. If you happen to come on site, you materials pick up or drop off, you can come and feel the lamb's ear. It is so soft. A couple other things in our garden, scientists. Our amaranth, speaking of soft, our amaranth spikes are getting so long. And I read recently that you can also eat the amaranth leaves in salad which I haven't done before. I'm excited to try that. Uh, over here today, what is getting large in here? What do you see? Ooh, we have some beautiful tomatoes. These ones, friends, are called green zebras and they will not turn red or yellow. Well, maybe a little yellow, but they mostly stay the kind of greenish and they're called green zebras because they have those stripes. They are my favorite tomato. Green zebras. Other observations, friends? Ooh, there's some more peppers coming in. Looks like another Patron pepper. Our little plants that we planted a couple weeks ago are doing pretty great here. And then this morning I saw, wow, how many Beautiful purple little eggplants do you see here? Oh, there's a couple back here. Uh -uh. Wow, on one plant, how many do you see there? Oh, there's the one hiding back here. Three plus one plus one plus one plus one. Looks like seven eggplants. Other things, friends. <gasps> Don and Michelle and I noticed our artichoke plant is shooting out a little artichoke flower at the base. Interesting. And artichoke plants live for many years. So we cut back those old flowers. These are the old stems. And then new growth, the fresh new young leaves popped forward. They're looking really super healthy. Re-emerging. How is our bok choy doing? Still looks like some of the snails have been munching a little bit on the bok choy and a lot of scientists thought that, they, that those were snails and I think that you're correct. I don't have the snails right here, but I do know from past experience that snails leave those sort of marks. And you can kind of see, actually it looks like there might be a little bit of slime on some of the bok choy leaves. So that's an indicator for evidence as well. Also last week, scientists, we were talking about what the big holes were being made by, the holes that are all around the garden, by the apple tree. And a lot of scientists, there's a couple holes right there. A couple of scientists um, hypothesized that they are from gophers. And you know what? I think that is correct. I've seen some gophers popping their heads through those holes. 
digging some tunnels. There are some new fresh ones over here. They look like they're in the raspberry bush. So those gophers are hungry, digging some tunnels, and there are no students here to scare them and to keep them down in the ground. They are more active, for sure. And our sage plants are getting bigger than they were last time we checked in on those beautiful white sage plants. Excellent. All right, scientists. I hope you have a lovely week. Don't forget your Zen Rock Spiral um, rocks are due on Wednesday. I'll be there at Materials Pickup. And if you still need a rock, I'll be out there. Otherwise, have a beautiful day. And I will see you all soon.